evening. Good evening, my friends. Today, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that the gospel is still the most powerful thing in this world. And I just want to share about that. Romans chapter 1. The gospel. The gospel. I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So much as, as, as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are in Rome as well. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. It is the power of God unto salvation, the gospel, the good news. And I just think we should be encouraged to not shrink back from the gospel, not shrink back because the foolishness of the gospel, the, you know, where it doesn't really make sense. But it's, it's the power of God. It's um, God, when we speak the gospel, the power of God is what opens men's mind um, and opens their hearts and allows them to hear. All we, our responsibility is to share the gospel and believe in the power of it. Believe in the God of who gave us that gospel to share with unbelievers so that they can come to faith. We have to just continue to be faithful with the gospel. We don't need to worry about, you know, presenting it a certain way or, or you know, doing a whatever. You know what I mean? We just got to get up and speak the gospel and let the power of God do the rest of the work because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. So I just wanted to share that. I wanted to share that that is why we're doing what we're doing here in St. Louis. We're doing this Wake Up STL event just to get people to be able to hear the gospel. And we're going to allow the power of God to do the rest of the work. Amen.